okay guys now this is going to be an informative video to tell you the different type of uh, bacteria depending upon the growth uh, preference uh, of temperature right so we know that bacterial growth are hugely influenced by uh, the temperature they, they grow in and also by the presence of oxygen right now in this case we can see that di during different uh, temperature and the presence of different kind of temperature the different uh, growth pattern of bacteria are seen now you can see here that first of all is a cycrophile now cycrophile are those bacteria who love to grow on the range of temperature from 0 or minus 10 to 10 degrees celsius temperature so that's kind of it minus 5 to 10 degrees celsius temperature is very cold kind kind of condition but the most optimum one is kind of uh, 4 degrees celsius temperature and the example of such bacteria are polaromonas vacuolata so these are the example so actually this thing is you need to memorize certain names and all these things because they are going to ask this a lot in exams so you can see that one cycrophile cycrophile is obviously cold lo loving and example is polaromonas vacuolata the second one is the mesophile which is a uh, involving a huge number of bacteria because most of the pathogenic bacteria are of this mesophilic type because you, you know mesophiles means obviously the temperature range is uh, kind of 10 degrees celsius to kind of 48 degrees celsius temperature now this huge range is kind of the range where you find the home temperatures and room temperature and all these different temperatures so and, and obviously the most importantly the body temperature which is 37 or approximately 37 degrees celsius which falls between this temperature range now pathogenic bacteria obviously love to remain in your body so they love your body temperature so that's 37 degrees celsius temperature so most of the your pathogenic bacteria are of this uh, mesophilic type right now the example for that is escherichia coli so not only pathogenic but also bacteria that live in your body for example a good bacteria uh, gut microflora like escherichia coli and other type of bacteria helicobacter pylori which can also live there so so actually though they are placed between this 10 to 48 degrees celsius temperature the most optimum limit is 37 to 39 degrees celsius temperature now the third kind is thermophiles or thermophilic bacteria now the term such as thermo means obviously thermal so high heat uh, so def definitely they love some heat now the heat means here uh, from 40 to kind of 68 70 degrees celsius temperature so it's kind of a lot of heat and one such example is geobacillus stearothermophilus so the examples and most of the thermophilus bacteria we can usually memorize the name because uh, they're uh, species are having this thermophilus attached to the end of it right so you can see geobacillus uh, stearothermophilus and the most most common or optimum temperature is 60 degrees celsius for them now another one is the hyperthermophilus as the term suggests hyperthermophilus means that that means they love higher temperature very very high temperatures like so for example here the range is 65 to 97 or 98 degrees celsius temperature and the one such example is thermococcus celer thermococcus celer is the example and the optimum range is 85 to 90 degrees celsius temperature right and finally hyperthermophiles so example this is a hyperthermophile and also there are hyperthermophiles but actually the hyperthermophiles means uh, more than so bacteria can live more than 70 degrees celsius temperature and it's actually they can live up to 115 degrees celsius temperature so it's huge amount of temperature as you can see one such example is thermo thermococcus celer or uh, pyrolobus fumari so these are the examples actually most common one are the mesophiles so they usually ask you cycrophile, mesophile and thermophile one example each that's it guys hyperthermophile they can ask you a simple name you can give it so you can see their growth pattern in this graph so it's kind of very basic graph to see you how how they can actually grow and all this but remember this temperature plays a vital role in their growth curve because if you take a cycrophile and if you put it into the condition of a thermophile they won't survive uh, if you put a thermophile into the cyclophilic condition or very cold climate they won't survive so temperature plays a vital role because different bacteria choose different temperature range so that uh, they can eliminate some competition for nutrients and other sources because if every bacteria responds to a particular temperature there will be many more competition so it's a evolutionary advantage that they are getting by creating this division of different uh, temperature ranges for their optimum growth right 
to limit the uh, self destruction and stay there to destruct us so <laughs> to destroy us so that's that's kind of it guys so and i hope that's helpful thank you